<laughs> oh, it was a great movie, eh, Zoo? Yes, Grandpa. Zip the Flying Zebra is my favorite superhero. I wish I could be like him. Oh, then I could be like Stripes, the faithful sidekick. Together, we could catch buddies. <laughs> Your letter-eating days are over, Postmaster. I won't let you take this town, Evil Lamp Man. <laughs> Release my friend or else. Park Bench, you're free at last. You aren't going anywhere, Park Bench. Oh, uh, neither am I until I've rested my legs. Huh? Hmm. Excuse me. You dropped your purse. <gasps> oh, thank you. <laughs> you're my <laughs> little hero. She called me a hero, Pop. Maybe I could be a hero, just like Zeb, the flying zebra. Zeb is so fast, it would only take a second for him to reach that tree. Time me, Pop. I need a lot more practice at being speedy. Let's try leaping instead. Zeb can jump over treetops in one go. What are you doing, Zoo? I'm in training to be a superhero. But I'm not sure what my superpowers are. <laughs> Don't you have to have super parents to have superpowers? You can't just be super. I suppose. But Stripes doesn't have any superpowers. He just has a utility belt with gadgets to make him special. That's what I need. This can be my utility belt. Now I need gadgets. Pencil power! <laughs> Steam power! Aha! Magnet power! That could be useful! Hello, Grandpa! Oh, look at you, Zoo! Nobody could mistake you for anything but a superhero with that costume. But I still need to find more gadgets for my utility belt. Well, have a look around, but don't touch anything that could be dangerous. Hmm. I don't know. <gasps> That's what I need. With this, I'll be able to see in the dark. <laughs> hmm. I need one more thing. Hmm? Oh. What are you doing, Dad? A little too much of Grandma's cake mix went down the plug hole. And now it's blocked. <laughs> there we go. All done. Dad. What for? I'm collecting gadgets for my utility belt. It might come in useful. Okay, just let me clean it and here you are. Now I'm ready, Pock. Ready to be Super Zoo! Oh dear. Oh, where did it go? Is anything wrong, Grandma? Oh, Zoo, your eyes are better than mine. I dropped my favourite brooch, and it's somewhere at the back of the cupboard. Will you have a look for me? Super Zoo to the rescue! Here it is, Grandma. Oh, thank you! A torch! I should have thought of that myself. But aren't 
I your hero? Elsie, huh? Oh no. Never fear. Super Zoo will save the day. There you are. Thanks, Sue. Do you want to play catch with me? No, I can't. I have to carry on being heroic. Really? Hmm. Maybe tomorrow then. I thought at least Elsie would call me her hero. Help! Your dad dropped the car keys. We think they've fallen through a gap in the floor. Somewhere. I'm sure it was over here. I'll help! Hmm. They're not up there. They're down here! Oh, thank you, Zoo. Now I won't be late for work. That was very clever, Zoo. <laughs> but wasn't I a hero? What have you been doing today? Helped any folk in need? Seen off any baddies? I'm doing my best to be super, Zoo, Grandpa. But it isn't working. I found Grandma's brooch, then rescued Elsie's ball, and got Dad's keys back. But nobody has called me a hero. Oh, well, you've been very helpful, Zoo, but it doesn't sound like you've actually been heroic. Being a hero is all about courage and doing the right thing. Hmm. I so wanted to be a hero, Pock. But now, I think I never will be. <sighs> it's not like it is in the comics. Like somebody's in trouble. Hello? Who's that? Nana? Oh, Zoo. Well, thank goodness. I've been calling out for ages. What's wrong? I only came down for a glass of water, but there was a power cut. I'm stuck. Please rescue me. Don't worry, Nana. I know what to do. Uh, what? There's been a power cut, and then it's stuck in the stair lift. A, a power cut? Yes, come quick. Uh, it's probably just the fuses. Ouch! Careful, Dad. I'll lead the way. Follow me. Ah. Oh, you are my hero. <laughs> that was very brave to come out of your room in the dark, Zoo. And you did the right thing to fetch me. That was very heroic. So, are you going to carry on being Super Zoo? Hmm. No. Now I know you don't have to be super to be a hero. <laughs> Good night, Zoo. Night, Dad. <laughs> I thought you were going to be a policeman when you grow up. Not anymore. I'm going to be an astronaut and zoom off into space to explore. Hey, what?
What's going on in the park? They're getting ready for the dance competition. Dance competition? Yes, it's on Saturday. Haven't you heard about it? Huh? <laughs> well, call me out. That's one thing I never want to be when I grow up, a dancer. Bye, Elsie. Bye, Zoo. So good of you to look after Zinnia. She'll be no trouble, will you, darling? <laughs> You're such a good girl. Yes, but sadly, even the best-behaved little girls aren't invited to the Lord Mayor's luncheon parties. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mum. Guess what we did in school today? We had a lesson all about the planets in space and oh, astro... hello. Oh, hello. Hi, Aunt Zelda, Uncle Xavier. Hi, Zinnia. Hello, Zoo. Well, now little Zoo's here, you two mm -hmm. can go off and play. Yes, we don't want to keep the Lord Mayor waiting, do we? Bye, Zinnia, darling. Bye, you two. Enjoy yourselves. Bye, darling. So, Zinnia, what would you like to do? Hmm? Well, I know. We could play monsters from outer space. I'll be the brave space explorer. And you can be the slime creature from beneath the planet Gog. I want to practice my dancing. Dancing? Yes, I've entered the dance competition. And I'm going to win. Daddy says so. Point and flex hmm. and point and close. Why don't you try it? Me? Dance? Dancing's for girls. Boys dance too. Haven't you ever heard of Rudolf Zebrayev? No. He was the most famous Russian ballet dancer ever. Oh. And point and flex and point and flex. <laughs> ballet isn't something to laugh about, Zoo. I wasn't laughing at you, Zinnia, or your dancing. Anyway, if I could do ballet, I'd dance much better than that. You're so good at dancing. Why don't you enter the dance competition? All right, I will. Great! Isn't it exciting? Zoo's going to enter the dance competition. Mm -hmm. And point and flex <laughs> and point and close. Thanks so much for taking care of Zinnia. Zoo? You don't look too happy. What am I going to do, Mom? I can't wear all that ballet stuff. Everyone's going to laugh at me. I can't even do ballet. Point and flex and point and point and flex and... <laughs> oh, Bizu. Maybe you should have thought about that before you said anything to Zinnia. Oh, and ballet in the park on Saturday. Ah! Oh. Good morning, Bizu. And how's my little dancer this morning? Hmm. Dancer? I didn't know you were interested in dancing, Zoo. I'm not. And I don't want to wear a ballet outfit. And I wish I never said I'd go in for the Rotten Dance competition. Now, what's all this about? Zinni was showing off about her ballet. And I think Zoo let his mouth get the better of him. He's entered the dance competition. <laughs> it isn't funny. Everyone's going to laugh at me in my tutu. <laughs> oh, you don't have to wear a tutu. And you don't have to do ballet. Yes, I do. Zoo. I've read about this competition in the newspaper. It's not just for ballet dancing, it's for all types of dancing. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure we can find the sort of dance that's just right for you. Come on, let's get out my old gramophone and see what we can come up with. Okay, I'll give it a try. <laughs> Here we are. Mm -hmm. uh, right.
Right. Now, let's see. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> so, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Pretty good, Grandpa. That doesn't look a bit like ballet. I should say not. That is what I like to call eccentric dancing. Now, mm. how about you giving it a go? Well, all right. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure with a bit of practice, you'll get the hang of it. <laughs> uh, so, could you keep the noise down a bit? I'm trying to practice my dance for the competition on Saturday. Oh, have you entered too? Yes, only it's not going very well. I can't seem to get my dance right and... Hold on. You've entered? Uh-huh. But... But I thought you said... I changed my mind. Oh, but my dance isn't going too well either. Well, if neither of you are happy with what you're doing at the moment, why don't you dance together? Do mm. you know, I think I might have just the dance for you two. It's not... it's not ballet, is it? <laughs> of course it isn't. I tell you what, let me and Grandma show you. <laughs> oh. Wow, you're really good. Yay! I didn't know grandmas could dance. <laughs> Shaky. Shall we have a go? All right. That's it! Left and left and right and swing! Ow. <laughs> left and left and right and swing! You'll be great. Well, I think they're as ready as they'll ever be. And welcome to Dance in the Park. And to start the competition off, let's hear it for Zach Zoe. And in the absence of the Lord Mayor, who unfortunately could not be here today, it is my great pleasure to award first prize to... Zinnia! <laughs> well done to you too, Zoo. You and LZ danced really quite well. Bravo! Thanks, Zinnia. And watch out, because next time I'll... Because hmm? next time what? 
I think I'll stick to playing space monsters. But dancing's fun, though. <laughs> Jiggling about. <laughs> Thank you. That's better. <laughs> You're not laughing at my drawing, are you? Oh, no, 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 of course not. It's a lovely house. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Thanks, Elsie. My picture would be even better. If Pop would keep still. Not your picture, silly. That. <gasps> wow. That's a rainbow. Sunlight's made up of those rainbow colours. And when the sun is shining in half the sky and it's raining in the other half, the sun shines on the raindrops. When that happens, it breaks the light up into all those different colours. And it makes a rainbow. It looks like it's almost close enough to touch. You know, people used to believe that rainbows were magic. Ooh. Oh, but you'd have to be quick. Rainbows don't last for long. If you're lucky to catch it before it fades, they do say there's always a pot of gold hidden at the rainbow's end. A pot of gold? Quick! Let's get to the end of the rainbow! It looks like it ends in your garden zoo. One pot of gold coming up! <laughs> it's moving! I think it's in the garage now. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Where is it? <laughs> hmm? I don't think we're going to find that rainbow in here. But where is it, Grandpa? It might still be out. Uh-oh. Steady, Pock. <laughs> out you come, Pock. <laughs> We've got a rainbow to catch. There, look. The rainbow ends in your garden, Elzy. <laughs> oh. I think it ends in the park. <gasps> Grandpa, can we go to the park? It looks like that's where the rainbow ends. Of course we can, but we'll have to hurry. Rainbows don't last forever. Hmm? This way? No, look, it's at Mr. Zoe's shop. <laughs> oh? oh. <laughs> In a bit of a hurry. Um... <laughs> um, looking for something? Uh, a rainbow. <sighs> hmm? A rainbow? I don't think I've got one of those. Not a great deal of call for rainbows around here this time of year. No, we, we've seen a rainbow, and we're trying to find the rainbow's end. Ah, I see. <clears throat> Nothing here. Or here. But I might just have found one over here. <gasps> well, over there, in the park. I said it ended in the park. All right, clever clogs. Last one, there's a squished tomato. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> we'll see you later, Mr. Zoe. Thanks for the tip off. <gasps> oh. Uh, um, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, stop missing about. We're going to miss the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh uh, right. Yes, yes, of course. <clears throat> 
look right, then left, then right again. And listen. <laughs> Look! There! Over by the swings! Disappearing. Oh, Grandpa. The rainbow's gone, Grandpa. I know. I'm sorry, Zoo. Like I said, they don't last forever. I thought we were going to find a pot of gold. Well, maybe we will. Another day. But right now, why don't we do some more painting? This time, we could paint a rainbow. Great idea, Elsie. There we go. It's going to be a really, really big rainbow. <laughs> what colour goes on the top? Red, then orange, and yellow. Yes, Pop. Then green. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment to see how you're getting on. Have you prepared the treasure? Yes. A delicious little treasure. <laughs> Thank you. what I call a rainbow. We should hang it somewhere so that everyone can see it. On the wall! Well, you don't see a lot of rainbows inside, do you? In the garden. Yes, on the fence. Mm Seems like the perfect spot. Great idea. A little to the left. Uh, 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 up a bit. Uh, yes, yes, just there. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I think Pook is. Pook! <laughs> oh, I wish it was a real rainbow, because real rainbows have a pot of gold at the end. Well, that's what some people say. And if this was a real rainbow, there'd be a pot of gold right here. I wonder. Maybe painted rainbows have treasure at the end as well. Hey! There's something underneath this pot. Yeah! Treasure? Sort of. Chocolate chip cookies! <gasps> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> and they taste... Like grandma's. Mm. Mm. 
delicious. But, but how did they get there? Oh, rainbows are pretty magical things. They are. Come on, me, Grandpa. <laughs> 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 Bizu, but you have made a bit of a mess of the house in the process. I think it might be tidy up time, don't you? Oh, but we were going to play another explorer game. If you promise to clear up after yourself, then I promise to take you to the park. The park? Oh, yes! Yay! Promise? Yes, Mum. I promise to tidy everything up. Good. I have to go to the shop now. See if you can tidy up before I get back. This won't take too long, Puck. It's looking better already. Hello. There you are, Zoo. If you're not too busy, uh, would you like to help me bake a cake? What sort of cake, Grandma? Oh, I hadn't thought that far ahead. Can it be a special cake? In the shape of an aeroplane? That sounds like a challenge. I've never made one like that before. Let's give it a go. Oh. Meow. Meow. Coming into land. Meow. The cake needs to be this shape. <laughs> Something to look forward to after supper. Wow! That looks brilliant, Grandma! Now, would you be a helpful young zebra and clean up this mess we've made? I need to take Nana her morning tea. Yes, Grandma! Zoo! 
Ah, oh, Zoo, I wondered if you'd like to help me plant some seedlings. You could have one of your own to look after for helping me. Yes, Grandpa. I love digging. Here's a good place for planting zoo. Dig five holes for me, and I'll be back in a moment. Here we are. And this one can be for you. Go and fetch a flower pot from the garage. All right! Um... Done. Uh, now, will you tidy up, Sue, while I fetch a watering can? Yes, Grandpa. <coughs> what is it, Puck? Puck, where are you? <laughs> there you are. Oh, I see. You want to play. <laughs> huh? There! <laughs> you win, Puck! Oh no! I forgot to finish tidying up like I promised! I'd better do it quickly before Mum gets back. <gasps> Oops! <gasps> Zoo, my room's tidy. Hmm. Look, nice and tidy. Apart from the muddy footprints. Oh. And that. Oh, Zoo, you promised me you would tidy up after yourself. Why didn't you? Well, I did mean to do it. Zoo, you haven't finished tidying the kitchen. And the garden still needs sweeping. I'm sorry. I've broken my promise to tidy up. But there were too many exciting things to do. But, Zoo, tidying up is important. Even more so now the house is even messier. I know, Mum. And I promise to do it all straight away. <laughs> it's ready now. Oh, that looks good. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, here you are. Is everything tidy, Bizu? Yes, Mum. It's all done. From now on, I promise to keep my promises. Then this is for you, Zoo. Your own plant to take care of. Thank you, Grandpa. I promise to look after it. And I think we all deserve a slice of cake. And then, tell me you're to the park. 
Oh, I don't know, Zoo. It's getting a bit late to go out now. But... but you promised! <laughs> I'm only joking, Bizu. Of course we'll go to the park. After all, a promise is a promise. Yay! <laughs> and stuff will be a bit smelly. What rubbish? Oh, didn't I tell you? I've decided to be a dustman when I grow up. I thought you were going to be a lord. That was yesterday. But Grandpa says he needs some help clearing out his garage. And that will be good practice for when I get to be a dustman. Bye, Elsie. Bye, Zoo. Zoo, jolly good. I could do with a hand. There's a lot of stuff here that needs throwing away. Oh, but we'd better not get rid of that. Look, a very rare jumping paint pot. You don't see many of those about. Hmm? <laughs> That's not a jumping paint pot. It's Puck. <laughs> you had me fooled that time, Puck. Come on, Zoo. There's still plenty to be done. Uh, um... <laughs> Grandpa, I don't think you'll be needing this anymore. A paintbrush with no bristles. Well, it might come in handy if I find some invisible paint. <laughs> <laughs> You're silly. My old walkie-talkie. There should be another handset somewhere. Ah, here it is. What's a walkie-talkie? Wait here a moment. It's, it's like, like a sort of mobile phone. Wow, brilliant! How does it work? You press the big red button on the side. Like this? That's it. And when you talk to someone on the other end, you say things like, Roger. That means understood. And over. That means you've finished what you were saying. Can I play with it, please, Grandpa? <laughs> of course you can. Uh, I, I mean, Roger, just as soon as we've finished our clear out. Mm -hmm. Well, let's get going. <laughs> Right, I'll take this uh, little lot to the rubbish dump. And I'll play with the walkie-talkie. But who shall I play with? Elsie? Elsie? Yes, sir? Do you want to play with my walkie-talkie? It's brilliant, see? I'd like to, Zoo, but I'm going out with Mum and Dad. We're leaving in a few minutes. Ready to go. Coming, Mum. Sorry, Zoo. Maybe some other time. Oh, right. Okay. Zoo calling Zoo. Do you read me? Over. Roger. Receiving you loud and clear. Over. Hmm. <laughs> it's not the same speaking to yourself. You already know what you're going to say. Huh? Puck, do you want to go? Cool. Zootapok! Zootapok! Come in, please! Over! The red button, Pok! You pushed the red button! It's not really your sort of thing, is it, Pok? Zoo! Can you come here a moment? Coming! 
I'm just popping out to the shop with Nana. I'll be back soon. Oh, would you like me to go for you? Oh, well, that's very kind of you, Sue. <laughs> It'll save my legs. <laughs> I've, I've got a list here uh, somewhere. Hmm? I'm going to need someone else if I want to use you. And butter. That's it. I wonder if Zack would like to play with me. Zack would have loved to play with you, I'm sure. He's gone to his grands for the day. Oh, well, never mind. Zoo, aren't you mm. forgetting something? Huh? Oh, Nana's shopping. <laughs> Shopping, Nana. Oh, thank you, Zoo. So you have. <laughs> oh, but I don't think I ordered these. What are they? They're my walkie-talkies. See you later, Nana. Bye, Zoo. Zoo. Coming, Nana. I left my hat in the kitchen. Could you be an angel and fetch it for me? Okay, Nana. On my way. your hat. Thank you, Sue. So kind going up and down those stairs. I meant to ask you earlier, what are those, uh, walkie-talkies? They're a bit like a telephone. See, you press the red button here and you talk into it and you can hear me coming out of the other one. Oh, you certainly can. The trouble is, there's no one around to play with me. Unless... Nana, I've got a great idea. Why don't you have one of these? Me? But... Oh, I... I well, well, I don't know. <laughs> They're awfully modern. They're really easy to use. And then, whenever you need anything, you can call me. Well... Yes... Thank you, Nana. No! <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It won't bite you, Nana. Press your red button. Now talk into that bit there. What do I say? Anything you like, but Nana to Zoo would be a good start. Nana to Zoo. Well done, Nana. Zoo to Nana, receiving you. Over. Over what? Over is what you say when you finish speaking. Oh, it's all very confusing. No, it isn't, for Nana. You'll soon get the hang of it. Just remember to press the red button. Over. Smell yummy. You'd better have one then. <laughs> Go on. Mm. Maybe Nana would like one of these too. They're her favourite. Well, why don't you pop upstairs and ask her? No need to go upstairs. Zoo to Nana. Zoo to Nana. Would you like one of Grandma's chocolate chip cookies? Over. Oh, yes, please, Zoo. I mean, yes, please. Over. Oh, Zoo! That is clever. I found this during my garage clear-out. Any use to anyone? Maybe Nana would like it. I'll just ask her. Zoo to Nana. Graf has found a vase. Would you like to have it? Over. Well, yes. But has it got any flowers in it? Over. It soon will have. <laughs> I see your walkie-talkie came in useful, Zoo. It's brilliant, Grandpa. Flowers, bars and cookies coming right up, Nana. Over. Nana will like these flowers, won't she, Pock? Oh, wow! Steady, Pock. You nearly sneezed, Nana. 
Nana's flowers to bits. Thank you, Sue. What lovely flowers. And what a delicious cookie. Stand by for a kiss. <laughs> Come on, Pock, you can do it. That's the last two. Thanks, Pock. This is going to be the biggest cherry pie in the world, Grandma. It's sure to win the Bake Off. Oh, I hope it won't be too big, Sue. Otherwise, Grandpa won't be able to carry it to Mr Zoe's shop. Do you think my cherry pie will be as good as Zack and Elsie's? I'm sure yours will be the best cherry pie in town. Uh, have either of you seen the garage key? No. Sorry, Grandpa. There are some keys in the cupboard, dear. Oh, yes. The cupboard. Ah, uh, oh, here it is. Thank you, dear. Mmm, mm, delicious cherries. <laughs> <laughs> there won't be any left for my pie if you eat them all. <laughs> I could eat cherries all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Not these ones, Grandpa. All right, Sue. I'll leave your cherries alone. You haven't forgotten that you're both taking the pie to Mr Zoe's shop, have you? Grandpa said I could cycle there. But first, I have to pump up your bicycle tyres. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> you're welcome. Now, Zoo, we must put the pastry cover on top of the cherries. I can do that, Grandma. There. I have to press the pastry around the edges to keep my cherry juice inside my pie. Well done, Zoo. Now it's ready to go into the oven. Oh, that's my job. There we go. How long will it take to cook, Grandma? About half an hour. I'm going to help Grandpa pump up my tyres. Uh, oh. What are you doing, Grandpa? Oh, Zoo, I've lost the garage key. Oh, no! I'm sure I had it in my hand. Maybe I dropped it on the garden path. Let's look for it together. <laughs> I've searched everywhere, Grandpa. Yeah, me too. I can't ride my bike to Mr Zoe's now, can I? No. Sorry, Zoo. Actually, there's something in the garage I need apart from your bike. Mr. Zoe asked me to make a trophy for the winner of the Bake Off competition. <sighs> it's locked in there. <gasps> Mr. Zoe can't have a competition without a prize. No, he can't. Grandpa, we've got to find that key. Think hard. When did you last see the key? Uh, in the kitchen. Maybe you left it there. Come on. Your pie's ready, Zoo. Thanks, Grandma. What are you two looking for? The garage key. But you only had it this morning. I know. It's completely disappeared. Where's the trophy you made for Mr Zoe? In the garage. I promised I'd deliver it half an hour ago. Well, you carry on searching for the key whilst Zoo and I take the pie to Mr Zoe's. Come along, Zoo. I thought you'd be at Mr Zoe's by now. Mm -hmm. I can't go without the winner's trophy, which is locked inside the garage. Haven't you got the key? I had the key. I had it in my hand when I was in the kitchen. Did you put it down somewhere? No, I didn't put it down. I was holding it when I helped myself to a handful of Zoo's cherries. Ah, I must have let go of the key when I picked up the cherries. And? The garage key is in the pie! What? Where is it now? Grandma and Zoo are taking it to Mr Zoe's shop. You'd better try and catch up with them before the competition starts. 
Yes. Oh. Well done, Elsie. Your cherry pie looks marvellous. Thank you. Where's Zoo's pie, Dad? It's not here yet, Zack. Wait for me! Good to see you, Zoo. Sorry, we were, um, just looking for something. What a perfect collection of cherry pies. I wonder which one will be the winner. Uh, uh, I've got to get to Mr. Zoe's before somebody takes a bite of Zoo's pie. Uh, uh. I still need a judge for the Bake Off competition, and I seem to be in need of a trophy, too. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Zoe. I can't be a judge. I made one of the pies with Zoo. I'm sure Grandpa will be here any minute with your trophy. Oh, oh, thank goodness. You've not eaten any pies yet. Where's Zoo's pie? Why, Grandpa? What's the matter? The garage key is in the pie. <gasps> it fell into the dish when I was helping myself to your cherries. I don't know which one's mine. They all look the same. I'm sorry, Mr. Zoe. I'm afraid you'll just have to start the competition without the winner's trophy. Well, seeing as we haven't had much luck with the trophy, perhaps you might be able to help me in another way. But how? Maybe you could judge the competition instead. Just take a slice from every cherry pie on the table and tell me which you think is the best. A slice from every pie on the table? Oh! It'd be a pleasure, Mr. Zoe. Yeah! Pie number one, Grandpa. Uh, uh. Mm. Mm, delicious. Moist and fruity and just the right amount of... Um, oh, um, well, now, uh, this looks lovely. <gasps> what a fine-looking pie. Mm, gorgeous. Mm, mm. Perfect pastry. Mm. Melts in the mouth. Mm, huh? Delicious. Look, Park, go and get Grandma so that we can go and get the trophy. Mm? Ah, a supreme cherry pie. Oh, you carry on, dear. Sue and I have got things to do. Hmm? <gasps> and now for the fourth cherry pie. <laughs> Delicious! There! Got it, Grandma! Good boy. Now, run to Mr. Zoe's shop as quickly as you can. Uh, don't wait for me. I'll catch up. Ah, uh, the last cherry pie. Mm. Mm, sweet. Mm -hmm. Here you are. Thank you, Sue. So, Grandpa, who is the winner of this year's Cherry Pie Bake Off competition? Well, they're all delicious, but there can only be one winner. So, the winner is... Number four! It's me! It's me! I'm the winner! Congratulations, Elsie! Thank you, Mr. Zoe. And thank you, too, for being the cherry pie judge. It was my pleasure, Elsie. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> A real treat. <laughs> 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 so you finally found the key. Zoo here saved the day. <laughs> we kept the key in the pie. <laughs> Grandpa would forget his head if it were loose. <laughs> Surprise! They were selling lovely cherries at the market, so I bought some and made a pie. That looks lovely, dear. 
Mmm, it smells good too. Thanks, Mum. Uh, Grandpa first. I know it's his favorite. <laughs> I have already eaten. <laughs> but perhaps a small slice wouldn't hurt. <laughs> 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 <laughs>